Today's video from Sharper, we're taking an in-depth look at a Sharp XEA137 I've had returned for warranty repair. Um, in particular, we're looking at a printer problem. Um, so the machine's come back to me with um, a printer error. So the machine is fully working, but when you um, have the till receipt or report printout, you get in um, black marks down the uh, left-hand side of the receipt printout. So you can see again there I've got some, um, the machine's fully operational um, and now I've used the machine so much that the black marks have stopped appearing and we're just getting no print whatsoever. Um, there's a couple of causes for this or a couple of possible causes for this. Obviously the machine has a thermal printer so it has a thermal print head within it and these are really sensitive pieces of equipment um, and if they get shorted, uh, so they have too much power sent to them or they get wet or exposed to moisture when they're used. And that can cause problems with a print head. Um, sometimes you can get a buildup of dirt or dust on a print head. Um, and I've done another video showing you how to clean the print head. But if you've tried this um, and you're still getting the problem as they are on this register, um, I'll show you what the only solution is. So what can happen with a 137 and has happened in this case is because the power supply is detachable, um, so if I disconnect this one from the mains, obviously the power supply you get with it is the correct voltage and ampage, um, but what's happened in this scenario is they've lost the proper sharp power supply um, and then plugged in a different one, which has caused a series of dashes to appear on the display there, and then it's also more permanently as as shorted out the printer so the only solution to this is to um, replace the printer so um, at the time of recording the printers are still available so this is a sharp printer a uh, 58 millimeter thermal printer and you can see that the print head is actually quite a sh very small piece of it um, I don't want to touch it but it's basically that bit there is the thermal print head that's what burns the image onto the thermal till roll paper and because this one's been shorted, so I'll just put it on again and just show you. Just put it back in. So this machine I've kind of already, to kind of precursor to the video, I've already half dismantled it. So I'll, what I'll show you in the video is um, how to remove and replace the printer. But if we process the sale, the till works fine. I've already disconnected the cash drawer as you'll see in a minute. Um, but we're just getting no print whatsoever. So I'm now going to replace the printer, pop in that new one. Obviously a disclaimer up front, um, I, I can't see your register so I can't be sure that that's the problem that you've got with yours. Um, you can use this as like um, kind of a evidence of how to do it um, and also a bit of a warning about making sure you don't get the print head wet or plug in the wrong power supply. I'll just disconnect it totally from the mains. When you take the till apart for the first time, obviously you remove the cash drawer insert and then there's a screw that holds in the underside plate and then once you remove that screw then you can slide the base out. Um, they then There's a screw here which I've already taken out. I'll just show you where, where to look for it. It's basically in there next to the battery compartment. If you undo that screw then basically with a bit of force this lifts out. I've already disconnected mine so I didn't have to apply any force. There'll be a connector here which will be plugged into that bit there. That's what connects the cash drawer to the main part of the till so obviously you need to, I've already removed that. But you'll see when you lift it out there's this clip here and this clip here which kind of hold the till in place so you just need to kind of prise them um, a bit with a bit of force and they'll, um, they'll help you lift the top casing off then obviously you can see here it's fairly straightforward replacing the printer so this is my new printer here this is the existing one so there's three screws I'll just take those off And then the ribbon for the printer connects into here. 
So you need to pull that out. They need to release the platen arm. You probably should take the till roll out first of all. So yeah, take the till roll out and then you just need to lift up the platen arm in order to remove the printer. And then once you've undone the screws, it'll just drop out. Um, if it's water damage on the thermal print head, so if you're ever checking one, um, I've obviously got a lot of parts here and a lot of second-hand tills, so it's easy for me to just grab a printer, a working printer from somewhere else, but I've had them back before where there's been, you can see corrosive or water damage on, on the print head or, or on the board. On this one, I can't specifically see anything, which is, but I know that it's been shorted because of the power supply that it came back with. Um, so pop that out of the way to one side, and then the new one, it just fits in, in place. I'll drop that on. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber, so obviously you go follow. If you blow yourself up doing it, it's not my fault. I've disconnected everything from the mains. Um, I've got all the necessary parts and tools. So you carry out, you can use this video as instructional, but obviously everything you do is at your own risk. But it really is then just a case of screwing it back in. The issue you might have, and I'm certainly the moment is getting hold of the replacement print head, uh, but I'll put, uh, when I post the video onto YouTube, I'll put links to um, places you can still get them from, providing they still have them in stock. So yeah, basically I've just popped the three screws back in, connected the printer to there, so now we gently turn it over, just want to make sure with this ribbon you don't get that stuck at any point. Obviously if you're rebuilding the machine fully, you need to clip that, that back in to connect the cash drawer up save on a bit of time I'm not doing that so I'm just popping it back into place I guess firstly to double check it's working and then I can go back and um, properly screw the machine back in and connect it to the cash drawer and for the purposes of this video we can get the um, we can just show the printer working So ready to plug it back into the mains with the correct power supply. Again, if you're missing your power supply, I'll put up a link to um, places where you can order the correct one. So you plug it back in. Obviously, I've got no batteries loaded because I've had to take the machine apart so the, the machine will reset. Um, and if I put a sale through, I'm expecting some print to appear. So just pop another one back in. So now before, I've seen this because I've not put this back on properly the receipt's not feeding out 100 percent but basically you can see now i'm getting a proper receipt print out without any black lines um, and i also should be able to screw that in properly if i go to the in a way the report's the most important one because you might not use the receipts but obviously you need to be able to read your report um, in order to do your end of day cashing up so yeah that's how to solve that problem obviously it's a bit of a serious problem to solve because a, it requires a part. Um, you also need to make sure you've got the correct power supply as well for future. Um, so you need to order a replacement printer, thermal print head. You need to have the confidence and know what to do in order to take the till apart and to fit the new printer. And then obviously make sure you're not getting the printer exposed to any, um, any buildup of dirt, dust, grease. Um, it's all about keeping it clean and um, having a reasonable expectation of what the machine is capable of. So if it's exposed to a lot of salt, vinegar, heat, um, you're going to have problems with it. And maybe you won't get 10 years out of it that someone using it in a quieter, um, less hot environment might do. Um, so yeah, if you think of any other videos that I can post um, to help with this sort of thing, let me know in the messages. Um, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out sharphelp.co.uk for more and check out the video links appearing on screen. Thanks for watching.